Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening and reviewing some school sets from American Girl. I did just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me these items so I'm able to open and review them on my channel. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to so be notified every time I upload a new video. This video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers are able to determine whether or not they'd like to purchase these products. A question for you, if you had a choice between the art class set or the student council election set to purchase, which set would you choose? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the different items that I opened up today, so be sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Be sure to follow me on my Instagram at AGOverseasFan to see more photos of these sets. So let's go ahead and open up the first item. The first set we'll be taking a look at is the art class set, and what's interesting about the set is that the canvas and vase changes color, so I can't wait to see how that looks, but there are multiple different accessories in the set, and there's an overview photo to show what's included. Let's take a look at some of the smaller accessories. So first off, there's a total of five paint tubes. There's red, black, white, yellow, and blue as well. And I love how they're all different sizes. You can see the yellow one is really small compared to the black one over here. So it makes it a little bit more realistic. And then there's a paint palette as well with different colors. Some of them are really bright, like the purple and pink, while some of them are a little bit more pastel, like the green one over here. There are two sculptor's tools and a foam sponge as well. The foam sponge is, of course, just like a classic sponge, and the sculptor's tools are made out of a lightweight plastic material. An art set wouldn't be complete without some paint brushes. There's a total of two in the set. There is a flat one and a round one. This one here is the round one, and then this one over here is the flat paintbrush, and you can see that they're styled slightly different, which is really great to see. And then there's also a cup as well. It's made out of a plastic material, and what I love about it is that there's a small attachment to the side, so you're able to attach it to the easel, and it also holds the paint brushes too. The next item included in the set is the bucket. It's a blue color and there's a speckled design on the front and there's a handle on top too. This item is actually the potter's wheel and it spins and there's a small attachment at the top so you're able to attach the vase. There are a total of two color changing items. There's the vase and the canvas. So this item here is the vase. It looks very realistic. It's made out of a lightweight plastic material so it can change color of course. It's green and pink and there's a polka dot design, there's stripes as well. There's a small indent at the bottom so it can be attached to the pottery wheel. There are two canvases included in the set. One is color changing and one is not. So this one over here has a lot of cacti and I love the bright pink color in the background. This one is not color changing, it just stays that way. This one over here is color changing and it's a gorgeous flower design but you won't be able to see it until you add the water. In case if you're wondering, you can also tell the difference between which one is color changing and which one is not, is the back of the set. So this one just looks normal, while this one has a lot of dots and openings, so it's able to absorb the water. So let's see if the canvas color changes. I've added some water into the small cup. I'm just going to start painting it, and you can see it changes color. That's so awesome. So you can see there's a flower design, and I love how it looks like it's actually being painted as well. You can see the brush strokes. That's so interactive. And then there's blue and pink. I'll keep painting until we paint the whole thing so we're able to see the lovely painting. The canvas has been painted, it is so lovely. I love the vase with the flowers and the background's really gorgeous as well. I use cold water, it doesn't really matter what kind of water you use for the canvas, but the vase is slightly different. I have attached the color changing vase to the potter's wheel and it does spin and it stays in place, which is great to see. And the stand does generally stay as well. There's grips on the bottom too. So I have the sponge right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it in hot water and that's going to make it change color and the cold water changes it back. Of course, if you do purchase this for your child, make sure that you're there supervising because you are using hot water. So I'm going to dip the sponge in the hot water and we're going to see if it changes color. So I've just dipped the sponge in the hot water, so let's try it out. And it automatically changes color, so it's fading away, the pink and the green as well. It needs to be hot water though, warm water won't work, or I find that hot water works better you're able to get the full effect. So I'm going to dip it again, and then I'm going to see if we can remove this part. And I'll just continue doing that throughout the whole vase so it's completely clear. 
The vase has officially color changed, so I added the hot water to it, and it completely looks like it's back in its original form. You haven't even started painting it or anything. It's so realistic and so interactive. What we're going to do now is I have my paintbrush here. I'm going to add some cold water, and I'm going to make it look like I'm painting, and the color should reveal itself. So I have the cup here with water. I'm going to place it down, and I'll just start painting the front of it, and the color is coming back. And I love how all the different designs and the polka dots are reappearing when I'm starting to paint the vase. And what I need to do is I need to repaint the whole thing again and it should come back with the green and the pink. The design has come back and so has the pink and green as well. I love how you can repeat the process over and over again. You can remove the paint and then you can add it back again. The last item part of the set is the easel. It's meant to hold the canvas and the paints as well, so let's take it out of the packaging. The easel is now out of the packaging and it's holding a lot of the accessories in place. It has been a while since I added the water onto the canvas and you can see it's starting to fade, so it takes a while to fade, but it eventually does go and you can repeat the process again. Overall, I really do love how interactive the set is, the vase and the canvas change color, which is so great, and it does come with some really lovely pieces. So let's move on to the next set. This set is so perfect for my doll, Meadow. She is truly me, 86, and she has purple hair, so I think she'll look amazing in this outfit. It's called the Be Creative outfit. It comes with the outfit itself, the shoes, and a small accessory item as well. The first item in the set is the t-shirt. What I love about the shirt is that you can use it in other outfits. You don't just have to use it for this one. It is plain white, there's no design on it, and there's Velcro on the back too. And the next item we'll be taking a look at is the dress. It definitely reminds me of Arts and Crafts, which is why it's called the Be Creative outfit. The color scheme is teal, pink, and purple, and I just love the paint splatters on the top as well. The American Girl logo is on the corner here, and there's some straps. We take a look at the back of the set, there's Velcro, and you're meant to place the shirt underneath the dress, and you're just meant to have it over the top like that. One of my favorite items in the set would definitely have to be the shoes. They're high top sneaker shoes, and they're glittery. They're a pink purple color, and there are some laces on the front, and they're black. There's also a little tag on the back too. The last item is a small little hair clip. There's two stars, and they're a glittery purple color, and it does open and close, so it should be easy to attach in your doll's hair. Each accessory and outfit comes with a guide or a small little activity book. This one here will be in both the art set and the outfit I just opened and reviewed. It says, delightful doodles. Get your artistic juices flowing with these drawing ideas. And there's an image on the front. When you open it up, it shows the outfit and the accessories too. And it normally has some sort of activity inside based around the set they just opened. Of course, this is an art set, so we have an art activity inside. The next set we'll be taking a look at is the Student Council Election Set. And what's interesting about this set is the megaphone records your voice and you can play it back. There's an image on the front of the box to give an overview of what's included, so let's open it up. Let's take a look at the first four items. There's a total of four ballot sheets. They're surprisingly very good quality. They're very thick. There's different lines so you can write the different candidates and you can take which one you'd like to vote. There are also three buttons. Two of them are exactly the same. They say vote and it's of course red, white, and blue. And this one over here says class president. In case if you're wondering, there's a clip on the back so it can be attached to the doll's outfit. I really love how it's not a pin so it's very easy to slide in and remove. These items help to decorate the table. There's a card that says vote here, student council. Again, this item's pretty good quality too. And on the back it says vote here, class president. They're both styled very differently. If I had to pick a style, I think I would choose this one at the front. It's very bright and colorful. There's also a banner for the table too. It says vote, and then there's two check marks on either side. And if you take a look at the back, it's exactly the same as well. It's tied along this blue ribbon, and there's a clip on either side. The set also comes with a pencil and a sticker sheet so you're able to decorate the table. A student council election wouldn't be complete without a ballot box so you're able to keep track of the different votes. So the ballot box is a bright red color, it's made out of a lightweight plastic material. There's a small opening so you can place the papers inside and it says vote here class president. 
On the back, there's a flap that opens. You're able to take all the papers out when it's finished. And then there's also a plastic attachment here. And this was the card that I showed earlier so people know exactly where to vote. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add it in so it sits and it sits really nicely. And then all you need to do is add the papers inside. And I'll just add it like so. One of the main features of the set is the voice recording megaphone. There's a blue ribbon attached to the bottom and there's a handle on the side. Even though the set is made out of plastic, it's quite heavy because you do need to add batteries in. It says American Girl on the side there. But I love how it's red, white, and blue. So there is a lock that opens and closes here. And then there's also the on and off button as well. And you're meant to record it and then you can play it back with this. So I'm going to go ahead and try it out and we'll see how it goes. So what you need to do is you need to switch it on and then you just need to lift this up so it's not locked and then you can save the recording until the next time you record as well. I'm going to push the button down and then you hear the beep. Hey guys, I am recording with the megaphone and then stop and then you press this button to hear it back. So it actually records your voice, that's so awesome. And then if you want to keep your recording, you put it down to the lock and then of course it'll keep it until the next time you make a recording and then it will completely make it disappear. So you can switch it off, switch it back on, and you can play it back. And it's kept your recording. So I think that's a really lovely addition to the student council election set. Now it's time to build the table. It's separated into different parts. The legs are surprisingly quite heavy, so they should be able to stay in place once the table is completely built. So let's go ahead and build it. Here's the table. As I said before, it's surprisingly quite a heavy set, so the table should be able to stay in place. It won't move around. What I like about the table is you don't have to use it for this particular set. You can use it in a room setup as well. It does come with some really lovely items and perfect for the student election. So let's move along to the next set. This set is called the Student Council Election Outfit. It comes with multiple different pieces, including the outfit itself and a couple of accessories as well. There's an image on the front of the box to give an overview of the set, so let's open it up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first item in the set. It is the jacket and it's very soft. It's a pink purple color and there's a button on the front which is removable. It's not just for a design element. There are two pockets here. These are just for design. They're not actually real pockets. There's a collar that wraps around and if we take a look at the back, this is what it looks like. And the next item is the shirt. It's just meant to sit underneath that jacket that I showed earlier. There's a collar and there's also a v-neck. It's short sleeve and there's velcro on the back too. The next item in the set is the skirt. There's elastic on the waist and I do love this design. It's very pretty. It matches a lot of the items in the set. We have the pink and the blue. It says American Girl in the corner here and it's made out of a really soft material as well. But in case if you're wondering, this is what the back of the set looks like. The next few items all match this blue theme. First off, there are a pair of tights and this here is a necktie. There's a large bow in the middle and then there's Velcro too. There are some extra accessories for the school uniform. First off, there's the headband. I love how it matches the skirt. It has that same design. And then also there's a pair of shoes and they're perfect for a school uniform. And of course, a student council election set wouldn't be complete without some election accessories. First off, there is a clipboard and you can lift that top part so you're able to add pieces of paper. American Girl Star is located in the back and it's a blue color and the top part is silver. The next item is a piece of paper and it says petitions for student council and it's just a list so you're able to write out different names. And the last item is a pen. And the guide included in this set is, of course, all themed to school. It says, take the lead, discover your leadership style with this fun quiz. And there's an accessory set and a doll wearing the outfit we just opened. If we open it up again, we have another doll wearing a Truly Me outfit and then the outfit with the accessories too. And there is a quiz and you can learn what kind of leader you are. And then this one just says all the different answer options. So if you get mostly A's, it says listen up leader, mostly B's pie in the sky leader, and mostly C's roll up your sleeve leader. So there's different answer options and you can take the quiz to find out which leader you are. The next set we'll be taking a look at is the Make Some Music outfit. This is definitely perfect for school because it's all about music. It comes with a pair of shoes, some accessories, and the outfit itself.
The first item in the set is the t-shirt. It's a gray black color and if we take a look at the side it's gathered and there is a blue piece of string wrapped in a bow. There's also a graphic design on the front. Again it's very glittery. On this side we have some headphones and it looks like it's wrapped around to reach the other side and the sleeves are also slightly rolled up as well. If we take a look at the back there's velcro. And the next item we'll be taking a look at are the leggings. They're very glittery and they're gold. There's elastic on the waist and they're just a classic pair of leggings. And here's what the back looks like. There's a pocket on either side too. There are a pair of flats included in the set. They are made out of a plastic material and there's a design on the front. I'd like to see what these look like on the dolls because they seem to be styled very interesting. Very different from any other shoes that I've seen from American Girl. Here's what the back of the set looks like and they're a pink red color. There is a lovely accessory item included in the set. There's a charm on the front and the actual bracelet itself is a teal blue color and it's made out of an elastic material and I do love how it's wrapped around just to give it a little bit of a design element. But if we take a look at the collector's guide here, it says rock on, fill in the blanks to create a silly musical adventure and there's an image on the front to show some of the outfits and some musical instruments as well. If we open up the guide here, we have the outfit we just reviewed and a music set as well. If we open it up completely, we just have an activity themed to music. I love the new Welly Wisher items. I can't wait to take a look at them. There are multiple different sets we'll be taking a look at today. This one is called the Ready to Learn Backpack and Lunch Set. So it comes with a backpack, a lunchbox, and multiple lunch-based items as well. If we take a look at the back. There's an image of the doll wearing the new outfit, and also she has the table and some of the accessories that we take a look at today. Let's take a look at some of the lunch items. There's an apple juice box, and there's a sandwich. The next item is a magnifying glass. There's a handle on the side, and I love the nature theme incorporated to it. There's a ruler as well with a floral design on the top, and there are also a pair of glasses, and they're a lovely purple color. There are a couple more school supply items a part of the set. First off, there is a folder. It says, I love school at the front, but instead of a heart, they've added an apple. And there are a total of two different sections in the folder, and there's a pencil design on the bottom. And there's also some lined paper, and there are some letter designs on the front. In order to hold all of the lunch supplies together, there is a lunch bag. It's a gorgeous pink color, and there's some stitching on the front. There's some apples, and it says lunch too. There's a Velcro piece that opens and closes, so everything stays in place. So I'll add the sandwich in, and then I'll also add the juice box in to see if everything fits. And I'm pretty sure it will because the items are quite small. And then all I need to do is close it with the Velcro strap. The main feature of the set would have to be the backpack. I love how it's themed as a fox because there's also a fox outfit for the Welly Wisher dolls a part of this release, so it definitely ties in with each other. The teal and pink is so darling, and I love the fox design on the front of the lid there. There's also a small pocket with polka dots on the front too. The button's just for decoration because the Velcro holds the top part in place. There's also little ears and there's straps at the back. It says W at the back as well. It's very easy to open and close too. I have all of the school accessories inside the backpack, everything seems to fit, and then I already showed that all the lunch items fit into the school lunch box as well, and then the glasses are placed right above. Overall, I love the set so much, it's just so perfect for the Welly Wishers and their storyline, so let's move right along to the next set. This is the outfit I was talking about earlier that had a fox theme to it. It's called the Smart as a Fox School Outfit. You can see it's styled on the skirt there, and this set comes with the outfit, the shoes, and the headband as well. If we take a look at the back of the box, you can see an overview of the outfit. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first item part of the set, and it's of course my favorite item. It is the jumper. It is purple, and it's got some eyes and nose, and there's little ears as well. There are straps that are a light pink color. If we take a look at the back, there's a Velcro piece, so it's easy to open and close too, and the quality is so great as well. The next item part of the set is the long sleeve shirt, and this definitely gives the set a pop of color. It's bright green, and there are polka dots, and if you take a look at the back, there's Velcro. There are also some leggings that are light pink color and they match the straps that are part of the jumper. If you look close enough, there's a graphic design of different paw prints, which I think is a lovely addition. It's not too bright or clear, but if you look close enough, you can see the detail and there's elastic on the waist. If you take a look at the back, the style is exactly the same as well. The shoes and headband both match. They're very neon pink, very glittery as well. And the bow on the corner here matches the straps on the jumper. The shoes are styled a lot like Crocs. There's a small strap at the back so it stays in the foot, but you can see that there's a little heel and it has a slight platform on the bottom. 
Here we have an overview of the outfit. This has to be one of my favorite Welly Osher outfits. I love the detail to the set and it's such great quality as well. I also really love the collection that they've done for this new summer release, especially the PJs that I opened up in the sleepover haul. This set is called the Colorful ABC Outfit. It comes with the outfit itself with multiple accessories. If we take a look at the back of the box, you can see the doll wearing the outfit. So let's go ahead and open it up. The first item part of the set is the dress. It's a gorgeous teal green color and I love the back to school theme. There's color pencils along the bottom and there's different letters and numbers on the top here and different designs. There's even a swirl and there's some crosses. If you take a look at the back, there is Velcro so it's easy to open and close. The next item is the cardigan sweater. The cardigan is pink, there's a small heart design, and I love the blue designs along the sleeves and the front. If you take a look at the back, it's completely plain. It is so soft and it's made out of such a lovely material. There's also a headband as well, and I love how it's styled as a roller. It definitely matches the dress. And the last item part of the set are the shoes. They're a lovely blue color, and there's a bow on the front as well. And in case if you're wondering, they're made out of a plastic material. Overall, this set definitely ties along with the other back to school items, and it's a great addition. This set is called the Ready to Learn Desk Set, and there are multiple accessories themed around school. There's even some food items, and I love the small chair in the corner, and there's a desk too. If we take a look at the back, we have the outfit we just opened and reviewed, and an overview of some of the accessories. It says the desk opens to store supplies inside. Let's take a look at some of the smaller accessories first. So there is a lovely journal, and I love the design on the front. There are some crayons, and there are a total of four, and the packaging does open and close and there's a little pen and there's a felt flower on the top. There is an interactive item included in the set. It is a paper fortune teller. Of course, it's just open like a piece of paper, but there are instructions in the back showing you how you can turn it into a fortune teller. And there's also some cheese crackers too. My favorite item in the set would definitely have to be the seat. It is so lovely. It's green on the top. It says W and there's a floral print on the side. It is so lovely and perfect for spring and summer. And it seems like it's a very comfortable seat as well. And the last item part of the set is the desk. It is made out of a plastic material, if you can hear that. There is a floral design on the side. It's green and teal, and when you open it up, there is a small space in the desk so you can place some items inside. So here we have the desk, the seat. These items aren't a part of the set, but they definitely suit it, so I just have them sitting in the front here. Overall, I really do love the set. So perfect for the Welly Wishers and back to school. Again, a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me these items so I'm able to open and review them on my channel. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed them.